for the best prices and service on Pokemon TCG singles and products, check out ccgcastle.com and use promo code EVOLUTIONARIES-5 for 5% off your next order. What's up, Pokemon fans? I'm Professor K for the Pokemon Evolutionaries, and today it is finally time. We're a little bit later than usual, but it is here. Lost Thunder Booster Box for you guys. I'm definitely excited to see what we're going to get out of this. It's the largest set in TCG history. And I really hope the pull ratios are more kind than they have been in the past to make up for that. But it's hard to say what's going to happen here. So let's take a look at this box. We got Celebi on one side. We got Lugia on the top. We got Zeraora. And we've got Blacephalon here as well. Let's take a look and see what we have on the back of the box. Because you guys love when I do this. At least some of you guys do. Most of you guys hate it. But that's okay. Because, yeah, I'm going to do it anyways. Ancient power echoing from the mountaintops. Travel to the forested hills where the fragrance of incense from ancient shrines and the sparks of high voltage Pokemon fill the air. The Sun and Moon Lost Thunder expansion fuses the new with the traditional featuring Celebi Prism Star and Ditto Prism Star plus Bl Blacephalon GX and Lugia GX as well as Tyranitar GX and the newest mythical Pokemon Zeraora GX. Call down the big thunder and charge up your decks with the high-powered Pokemon in the Sun and Moon Lost Thunder expansion. There's a good chance that I may have said EX by mistake somewhere in there, and if I did, I'm sorry. I don't know, I just feel like I might have said EX, and if I did, ah, man, I just, I can't break that habit. EX, GX, like, why do they have to do that so similar? I don't even understand, but that's not the point of today. Today's point is to open up this Lost Thunder booster box, which is still technically early. The set does not officially release until November 2nd, 2018. So even though we're not the first one up, we're not even the second one up, uh, this time we're still getting it up well before the release date, so that's the important thing. It's been a little bit hectic with everything going on, so hopefully you guys still enjoy the video regardless, but let's get started here and see what kind of luck are we going to have with our Lost Thunder booster box. I'm actually going to set this one here off to the side. We'll take packs here one by one, and let's see what we get. Got my sleeves ready to go. We're going to start off here with a pack of Zera Aura. Ditto Prism Star is definitely a game-breaking card. There's no doubt about that. And we're going to start off here super strong. Oh, my goodness. So that is definitely a major player in this. Uh, Nine Tails is going to make a difference for sure. I kind of like Zero Aura. I don't know. I'm weird. I like the little niche things from time to time. So it might be good. It might not be. Who knows? Blacephalon's proven to be good. So let's see what we get. All right. Ninkata. We got a Chinchu. Mareep with Fluffy Pillow. Once during turn before you attack. If this Pokemon is your active, you may leave your opponent's active asleep. Makes sense to me. We got Marini, Snubble, Hitmontop. I haven't seen a Hitmontop card for a while, I don't think. I feel like we haven't. Maybe we have. Who knows? We got a Faba. Choose a Pokemon tool card, a special energy card attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon or any stadium card and put it in the Lost Zone. This sounds a lot like Zerosic, but play it in the Lost Zone instead. Electabuzz, Dedenne Reverse, and Magcargo GX. This is another card that might actually see a little bit of, uh, little bit of play here. Crushing Charge. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may discard the top card of your deck. If it's a basic energy card, attach it to one of your Pokemon. Lava Flow. 50 damage. Discard any amount of basic energy from this Pokemon. The, this attack does 50 more damage for each card you discard it in this way. And Burning Magma GX. Discard the top five cards of your opponent's deck. So my Cargo GX is actually pretty neat, too. May or may not see, you know, decent amount of play. Just kind of depends. Um, I think I've heard some things about it already, like a straight McCargo deck is a possibility. Um, hard to say. You know, being able to put an energy card on top of your deck with McCargo and then McCargo GX, making that an energy to attach it. It's a good accelerator for sure. We've got Cutie Fly, Chinchu, Hopip, Pikapek, Slugma, Skiploom, Floral Path to the Sky. Interesting how they have this little... Uh, this little portal thing, because Faba had that as well. I wonder if there's some kind of uh, some kind of hidden message in there with that. But Flora Path to the Sky, once during a turn before you attack, you may search your deck for Jump Bluff, put this Pokemon and all cards attached to it in the Lost Zone, and put that Jump Bluff in its place. Then shuffle your deck. Hmm. Sunshine Grace, once during a turn before you attack, you may search your deck for a Grass Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. That's pretty cool. Brion. Xerneas, Prism Star, our first one of the box, Path of Life, once during your turn, when this Pokemon moves from your bench to become your active, you may move any number of energy from your 
other Pokemon to it. And Brighthorns does 160, just can't do it again next turn. And we got a Grand Bull as our regular rare. Pretty neat. Lots of Prisms in this set, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Of course, then again, when you're talking about a set that has a base number of 214, it's bound to happen. All right. Next up, we have Poplio, Morlal, Chansey, Trico, Pikapek, nobody wants you, had to do it for N, Grovile, Custom Catcher. You may play two Custom Catcher at once. If you played one card, draw cards until you have three in your hand. If you played two, switch one of your opponents benched with their active. And it only works one time for two cards. Fairy Charm, Reverse, Morlal, and oh! Oh, we got a Seeker Rare, guys. Spell Tag. That's awesome. This is card number 235. Oh, man. It's too many cards. So, when the Psychic Pokemon this card is attached to is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack, put four damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way that you like. Wow. Three packs in, and we got our first gold card. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Wow. I wonder if there's more than one in Secret Rare. I feel like there should be, just given the sheer volume of cards. I don't know. Maybe I'm expecting too much. Who knows? All right. Energy card off to the side. And we have Combi Litleo uh, with Wild Dash. If your opponent has any GX or EX in play, it has no retreat cost. Hmm. Cutie Fly, Hopip, Tangela, Bayleaf, Dedene with Zap Touch. Adventure Bag. Adventure Bag! Search your deck for up to two Pokemon tool cards. Reveal them and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. We got a Scizor, Exoskeleton ability, takes 30 less damage from attacks as our reverse. And an Electivire, regular rare. All right. Let's see, I need to get a stack set up here so I can just keep everything flowing. Got energy in one spot. Oh, we got a Durant. I bet you it's a mill card of some kind. It has to be. Durant is always a mill card. It's tradition. Knockover. You may discard any stadium card in play. And Mountain Munch. Discard the top two cards of your opponent's deck. What a shocker. Mareep. Fampy. Ninkata. Houndour. Fairy Charm. Skiploom. Pinsir. Grip and Squeeze is back, guys. Grip and Squeeze is back. Oh, man. I miss those days. Man, there were some good times in that. When Grip and Squeeze was first around, we had a whole bunch of channel memes. This was one of them. Grip and Squeeze returns. Natsu, the broken Natsu with Lost March. That was 20 damage for each of your Pokemon, except Prism Star Pokemon in the Lost Zone. Hello, Lost March. Yeah, that's going to be major. No doubt about it. And Fortress. Now, see what I mean here? All these balls of energy. Natsu's coming out of one. There's something going on here. Thorny Eruption and Lost Blast. Put this Pokemon on cards attached to it into the Lost Zone. That helps fuel it. Interesting. Very, very interesting. All right. Let's keep it moving here. Three. And two. All right. So, we got Hopip again with this energy. Something's going on here. Carbink. Carbink, Diamond Gate, and Guard Press. Okay. Blitzel. Onyx. Spinarak. Spider Scram. Sableye, Quick Hunt. Well, if you go first, you can use this card or this attack on your first turn. Search your deck for a card, put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. This is classic Sableye. Electro Power. During your turn, your lightning Pokemon attacks do 30 more damage. Another good card for Zero Aura, no doubt. Zatu. Reverse Spinarak. And another Slowking with that ball of energy. It's all Lost Zone related stuff. It's gotta be what that is. Lost Thunder, Lost Zone, random balls of energy that are around Pokemon having to do with that. Yeah, there's something going on with that. No doubt. All right. We've got a Skidoo, Onyx, Ralts, Cyndaquil, Pineco, Continuous Headbutt, Kahili. Kahili says, draw two cards, then flip a coin. If heads, if you played this Kahili from your hand, put this card onto your into your hand instead of the discard pile. If you have no cards in your deck, you can't play this card. Dedene, Heracross, Reverse Mina, and two cannon. Gigantic cannon. I like that name right there. If this Pokemon evolved during this turn, an attack does nothing. That's kind of useless. Ew. 
But Gigantic Cannon is such an awesome attack name, though. I mean, I would personally really enjoy being like, hey, guess what? Gigantic Cannon for 160. Like, it just sounds epic. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. We got a Dedenne, Cyndaquil, Pineco, Eevee, Bruxish. Oh my gosh, that is terrifying. Follow the wound. All right, that's a little dark. Does 60 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon that has any damage counters on it. Eesh. Memory Energy. They can use any attacks from their previous evolution, so that's uh, pretty neat. It's like Celebi's old ability. Kecleon. Bring Kecleon to Pokemon Go already. My goodness, man, they're taking forever on that. Lampant, Raikou Reverse, and a Tapu Fini Hollow. Dream Away and Wondershine are the attacks on this one. We're going to cover Meg Cargo. I'm going to leave that spell tag out for just a little bit because it's so pretty. Nice and gold. All right, next pack. Alolan Vulpix. We need to get some Ninetales here. Excuse me, Houndour, Poipole, Larvitar, Pachirisu. That is a long attack text over short. Before doing damage, discard all Pokemon tool cards from your opponent's active Pokemon. If you discarded the Pokemon tool card in this way, this attack does 40 more damage and this opponent's attack Pokemon, active Pokemon is now paralyzed. Wow, I was almost perfect. I could have been one of those guys that reads commercials and the fine print, I could have done it, but I just got to focus a little bit more on not tripping up on my words, and I could probably do it. Minor Errand Running and Energy Press on Magearna. Lost Blender, put two cards from your hand in the Lost Zone if you do draw a card. Silcoon, Reverse Ralts, and another Zera Aura GX. That is our second one, thanks to our pre-release kit from yesterday as well. Not bad. Double Zera Aura. I feel like... It's got some use. I really do. I don't know. I like Zera Aura. It's a cool Pokemon. Can we go three for three on Hollows or better? We got a Yamask, Stunfisk, Larvitar, Wurmple, Poplio, Vespaquin, Commanding Queen. If you have four or fewer grass Pokemon on your bench, it does nothing. Heracross, Pinsir, Grip and Squeeze. We got a Lusamine, Prism. When you play this card, only if your opponent has three prize cards remaining, prevent all damage done to your Ultra Beast by attacks during your opponent's next turn. That's interesting. And hand in hand, Lusamine and Neeligo, Night <clears throat> Nightcap and Void Tentacles. Gotta be careful saying that attack name. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh boy. Nightcap, you can use the attack only if your opponent has exactly two prize cards remaining. Choose one of your opponent's Pokemon's attack and use it as this attack. Ooh, that could be... Very interesting, because you don't have to have the energy required in order to use it either. Hmm. But it's only when your opponent has two Pokemon. Very, very situational at best. All right. Next up, we've got an Alolan Diglett. Call for family. Another Natu, Lost March, OP, Chikorita, Snubble, Ralts, Moo Milk, Fairy Charm, Ninjask, Molting. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may put a Shedinja from your discard pile onto your bench. Makes sense. Reverse, Mareep, and a Pyroar, a female Pyroar at that, by the way. That's something that's been a long time coming. Ever since Flashfire, everybody's just been like, where's the female Pyroar? We've only had male Pyroars. And then we finally get one. All right, three and two. We've got a Chikorita, a Lolan Meowth. Spoil the fun. <laughs> Yamask, Jigglypuff, Mareep, Counter Gain, Ariados, Moomoo Milk, Gardevoir Reverse, Brilliant Search. Search your deck for up to three cards and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. And Sensitive Ray, 70 damage, plus if you played a supporter card from your hand during this turn, your attack does 90 more damage. And a Houndoom with Nasty Plot and Attack Operation. All right. Oh no, I'm running out of space for my empty packs. Durant returns. Cupju, Vampy, Morple, Marini, Counter Gain, Pseudo Widow. Another oh man, Imakuni. Every time I see it, just Imakuni. Primarina with Harmonics when you attach an energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon, except with an attack, ability, or trainer card. Attach up to two energy cards to that Pokemon instead of one. And Steelix. Always that heavy, heavy energy cost for Steelix. Steelix and Onix, man, they just get shafted every time. No low energy cost, just big, bulky, and yeah, good luck. That's about what it is. Even the EX versions and the Mega, 
We got a Combi, Marini, Larvitar, Slowpoke, Cub Chew, Aether, Found Aether Foundation employee. Put three Pokemon that have a Lolan in their names from your discard pile into your hand. Quilava, Pupitar with Hard Shell Evolution. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you prevent all damage to done to this Pokemon by your opponent's attacks until your opponent's next turn. Vespaquin and Unknown, the missing one. 12 supporters in the Lost Zone. You win the game. Yeah. Good stuff. It'll never happen. If it does, then you have pulled off a miracle. All right. We've got a Bruxish. Dedene, Cyndaquil, Scyther, Stunfisk, Electropower, <clears throat> Delibird, Happy Delivery. Choose any number of your bench Pokemon that don't have a Pokemon tool card attached to them. For each of those Pokemon, search your deck for a Pokemon tool card and attach it to that Pokemon, and then shuffle your deck. See what I mean? I could be a, I could be one of those guys that reads the fine print. I really could. Reverse Carbink and an Espeon, Allure, and Energy Crush. 20 plus, 20 more damage times the amount of energy attached to all of your opponent's Pokemon. Oh, it's like Leafeon! That's interesting. Remember uh, Plasma Leafeon, Energy Crush? I think it was called Energy Crush. I feel like it was. Same same idea, though. That was good against Seismitoad. That's for sure. We got a Spinarak, Ninkata, Eevee, Hoppip, Pikapek, Professor Elm's Lecture, Mina, Curlia, Heat Factory. That's another Prism Star, and a Wobbuffet, Shady Tail, as long as your Pokemon's on your bench. Prism Star Pokemon in play. Can't attack and have no abilities. What? Oh my goodness. All right, so Heat Factory says once during each player's turn, that player may discard a Fire Energy card from their Pokemon in their hand. I mean, from, what the heck did I just say? May discard a Fire Energy card from their hand. If you do, they draw three cards. Hmm, okay. That's kind of neat. It's very similar to uh, that other Fire Stadium that we used to have. Discard a Fire Energy, draw a couple cards. Very similar, except for it works for both sides of the field. And you get to draw three instead of two, I think it was. I think it was two. We got Trico, Pikapek, Meryl, Whirlpool, Ludwig, Zatu, Sableye, Brion, uh, Silcoon Reverse, and Unknown with Hand. So Hand says, <laughs> oh, this is just stupid. If this Pokemon is your active Pokemon and you have 35 or more cards in your hand, you may win the game. <laughs> 35 cards in hand. What in the world? That is just insanity. Alright. We are at the halfway point when we finish with this pack. We've got Mareep, Marini, Snubble, Slugma, Pikapek, Go Goat, Shuckle, Alolan Dug Trio, Hop Hip Reverse, and Moo 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 the Mill Tank. I don't know why I almost said Moo Moo Milk, but I turned it into Moo 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 the Mill Tank. I don't even ask me, guys. I don't even know what's happening. Because I saw. Reveal any a number of Moomoo Milk cards in your hand. That's what it was. Sometimes your mind sees things before you actually comprehend them, and I think that's what happened there. Don't mind me. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. All right, next pack. Three, one, two. We've got Trico, Pikapek, Meryl, Wurmple, Litwick, Curlia, Ether Foundation employee, Quillava, Reverse Meryl, and a Tangrowth with. Hefty, hefty, hefty whip. There's no wimpy, wimpy, wimpy there. All right. Moving on. I feel like we're not getting the pulls that we should. Hopefully it picks up here. We got a Moralol, Mareep, Litwick, Chikorita, Natu, Memory Energy, Vespaquin, Mina, Heracross, and a Moltres, Regular Rare, Assisting Heater, and Firewing. Hmm. All right. What, where are we at right now? I feel like we're we're off where we should be. All right, these are prisms. Yeah, we've only got five pulls so far. Two hollows, two GX, and a secret rare with three prisms. Something isn't working quite right here. I'm not sure how to feel about that just yet. We're more than halfway through the box. I hope this side has some serious fire to it. Otherwise, I'm a little bit concerned. All right, Hopip, Pikapek, Slugma, Poplio, Litlio, uh, Lolan Dug Trio, Professor Elm's Lecture, Mina, Reverse, Dialga, and a Heatran Hollow. Okay, well, there's another Hollow at least. That's something. That is something. 
If we could turn back time. Oh wait, Dialga can do that. Power Blast and turn back time. <laughs> oh, these names, they just write themselves. The puns just write themselves, guys. You know what? I don't even know why I'm even bothering trying to stand these up against this box this way. It's not going to work out, so we're just going to do that. Wow, that pack just shredded entirely. Not sure what happened there. Three. And we have an Onyx, Spinarak, Poplio, Morlal, Chansey, Whitney. Draw a card, then draw two cards for each other Whitney in your discard pile. Shuckle. I like how they do this like, well, let's go back to, let's go back to Whitney for real quick. I like how they do this like roll out. For each one you have, it does more damage. For each Whitney that you have, you draw more cards. It's neat. I like that. Spell tag. Mixed herbs. If you play two mixed herbs cards at once, you can heal 90 damage and remove all special conditions from your active. And if you play one, remove a special condition from your active. Zeb Striker. Sprint. Once during your turn before you attack, you may discard your hand and draw four cards. Not a bad ability, especially on a stage one. And it's also, you know, a one prize Pokemon as well. That's actually pretty good. All right. So we have a Carbink, Chikorita, Scyther, Meryl, Onyx, Fairy Charm, Go Goat, Shuckle, Reverse Cascoon, and a Full Art Whitney. All right. Our first Full Art Trainer, and it's Whitney. This is actually a good one to get. I'm pretty happy about that. Not bad. Not bad. All right, we'll put Whitney right there. You did a good job on that card. It looks nice. All right, so we have a Fampy. Ninkata, Houndour, Cutiefly, Chinchu, Electabuzz, Kecleon, Netball. Search your deck for a basic grass or grass energy and reveal it. Put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. Reverse Larvitar and a Bear Tick, Resolute Claws, and Blizzard Burn are the attacks on that one. I remember when Bear Tick was a partly playable card back in the early days of XY. It was used for a little while, and then it just kind of went away. I don't know if that Bear Tick would ever be good, though. Hard to say. Larvitar, Pachirisu, Hopip, Carbink, Blitzel, Morty. We got, uh, what, what does Morty do? What does Morty do? We got... <laughs> Your opponent reveals their hand. Choose two cards to find. Uh, choose two cards that you find there. Your opponent shuffles those cards into the deck. So it's something that's disruptive. Okay. Carbank, fairy type. Shenotic. Wow, this looks a lot like the Sun and Moon one. If this Pokemon is your active and is damaged by an opponent's attack, it is now asleep. Okay. All right, I get it. Celebi Prism Star. That is our fourth Prism Star, I believe. And Ribambi, as long as this Pokemon is on your bench, whenever your opponent plays a support card from their hand, prevent all effects of that card done to your fairy Pokemon in play. And Celebi Prism Star, Time Distortion, and Leech Seed. So you can devolve any number of your benched Pokemon as many times as you like. Put each evolution card removed this way into your hand. Hmm. Okay. I remember talking about that when we pulled it in the Japanese set. I'm wondering how that would come into play, but I guess only with things that uh, do damage based off of evolution, maybe. You know, like Froki and Frogadier, perhaps, or Bats in um, Expanded. Combi, Blitzel, Slowpoke, Bruxish, Larvitar, Fairy Charm, Mixed Herbs, Flaffy, Reverse Cub Chew, and a Ho-Oh. Oh, man, I remember that artwork. That is an old artwork right there for Ho-Oh. Huh. Rainbow Burn. Interesting. Yeah, I think I actually have that card. I can't remember if it was like a Neo-era card, I feel like. I think it was Neo. Not 100%, but it might be. I know I have it somewhere, though. I think I have it in Japanese as well. We've got Pineco, Eevee, Bruxish, Durant, Mareep, Girafferig, Get Lost. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks, Girafferig. You're real nice. <laughs> Put two cards in your opponent's discard pile in the Lost Zone. And Mind Shock. Again with those weird energy balls. Mixed Herb, Stantler, Reverse Mill Tank, and Blacephalon GX number two for us. We pulled another one earlier. I know for a fact we did. I don't know if it was in this opening or the one I did. Yeah, because I did them back to back. The pre release kit also had Blacephalon GX as well. Matter of fact, I should probably be organizing these since uh, we're coming close to the end here. 
and I should probably have them all in order just so we're ready to go when it comes time. All right, so put those back there. Next pack. This side is not disappointing, I have to say. It's not disappointing me, really. It's definitely making up a little bit. These are all falling over. This is not working out very well for me, so we're going to have to put them on a slant. All right, we got Jigglypuff, Mareep, Alolan Vulpix, Houndour, Poipol, Custom Catcher, Hitmonsop, Magearna, Pachirisu Reverse, and a Typhlosion Hollow with Blazing Energy. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may use this ability. All energy attached to your Pokemon are fire instead of their usual type. That's pretty neat. I like that. This includes cards that came into play on this turn as well, by the way. So, not bad. Oh, that ripped right off the top. Some of these packs just don't like me. All right, next pack. We've got an Alolan Vulpix, Snubble, Marini. Get out of here. Cyndaquil, Quipole, Pseudowoodo, Choice Helmet. Take 30 damage less from Pokemon GX and EX. Basically, you can negate a Choice Band from an opponent. Mantine, Mantine Surf. If this Pokemon has energy attached to it, it has no retreat cost. Trico, Reverse, and another Beautifly. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got seven packs left to go. I feel like we should have at least one more full art. Maybe another secret rare if we're really lucky, but I don't know how the pull ratios are going to be overall. Chikorita, Snubble, Dedenne, Ralts, Cyndaquil, Delibird, Cascoon, Lost Blender, Life Forest, another Prism Star, and a Primarina. That's Prism Star number five out of this box. I know there's a lot of Prism Stars, but geez, that's a lot of Prisms. I'm used to like three, sometimes two. The set is ginormous. All right. Scyther, Stunfisk, Chikorita, Alolan Meowth, Yamask, Whitney, Flappy, Kahili, Pyro Reverse, and a Toxapex Regular Rare. All right. Next pack. We've got a Wurmple, Jigglypuff, Alolan Meowth, Cubchoo, Tangela, Silcoon, Faba. That's the energy ball I was telling you about. Sightseer, you may discard any number of cards from your hand, then draw cards until you have five in your hand. If you can't draw any cards in this way, you can't play this card. Zip Striker Reverse. And a Dialga! That's a hollow. If I could turn back time, like Dialga did. Ah, that song's old already. I got tired of that real quick. I don't know about anybody else, but it didn't last for very long. Larvitar, Slowpoke, Cubchoo, Alolan Diglett, Natu, Netball, Kecleon, Sightseer, Chinchu, and Dustox. Hazardous Evolution. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may leave your opponents active, paralyzed, and poisoned. If you do, put three damage counters instead of one between turns. Ouch. Sounds painful. I must say. All right. Three packs to go. Slugma, Pikapek, Bruxish, Dedenne, Cyndaquil, Mantine, Wait and See Hammer, Fairy Charm, Mareep Reverse, and Shedinja with Vessel of Life. Once during your turn before you attack, you may discard all cards attached to this Pokemon and attach to, to one of your Pokemon as a Pokemon tool card. When the Pokemon this card is attached to is knocked out, your opponent takes one fewer prize card, so it turns it into a Life Dew. That's kind of cool. I like that. I like that a lot. It's a neat little mechanic. Second to the last pack. We got Poplio, Litlio. Why the O's right away? Yamask, Skidoo, Chansey, Speltag, Cascoon, Wait and See Hammer, Choice Helmet Reverse, and Kafa Grigas with Spirit Juggling. Hmm. One pack left. I don't know how to feel. I feel like a set that's this big should have a little bit better pull ratio. I hope there's something good in this last pack. I really do. All right, we got a Merrill, Wurmple, Litwick, Combi, Marini, Trumbeak, Mountain Pass. Once during your turn before you attack, if this Pokemon is in your hand, you may reveal it. If you do, look at the top card of your opponent's deck and put this Pokemon into the Lost Zone. If that card is a supporter card, you may put it in the Lost Zone. If your opponent has no cards in their deck, you can't use this ability. 
Hmm, so you utilize it from your hand, really, more than anything. Interesting. Ninjask, Fairy Charm, Reverse Pineco, and... Oh, we did get another full art. It just waited till the very last pack to appear. Zeraora GX full art. That's a nice looking card. Yellow on yellow, though, seems a little bit strange. I'm not sure how to feel about that. But nonetheless, Zeraora is a pretty cool Pokemon, so not too bad. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at all of the cards here that we pulled and see how the ratio goes for the box as a whole. All right, so for uh, for Prisms, we got Life Forest, Xerneas, Heat Factory, Lusamine, and Celebi. That's five Prism Stars, guys. Five Prism Stars. For Hollows, we got Dialga, Typhlosion, Heatran, Neoligo, Tapu Fini. So we got, well, once again, five Hollows. We got Zeraora, Magcargo, and Blacephalon. That's three GXs. We got Zeraora, and Whitney, that's two full arts and one secret rare. So, six ultra rares out of the box. Mm, ouch. Um, that's pretty bad, not gonna lie. Ugh. Six out of a set that has 235 at least cards, possibly more, I'm not sure what the exact total is, but mm, it's gonna be a hard set to complete, guys. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it this time. <laughs> And five hollows. We only got 11 hits out of the box. I feel like that's a low number overall. I feel like it's always like 12, 13, or 14. Eh, well, I guess we'll just have to see how future boxes work. But our first box is usually not that great anyway. So I'll take it with a grain of salt for now until we open up some more. We are getting a whole other case, by the way, um, of this set that we will be opening periodically over the channel once the set actually releases. So make sure you guys stay tuned for more Lost Thunder. Uh, we'll be opening quite a bit more, and hopefully we get some awesome cards for you as well. But with that being said, guys, thank you very much for watching this early Booster Box opening of Lost Thunder. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe for more TCG content, and we will see you guys in the next video. So until then, you all take care, and have a great day.